Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about a big question many of us think about. Why do bad things happen to good people? We'll look at a powerful Buddhist story to find some answers. Let's get started. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, there was a wise Buddhist monk. One day, a man who looked very sad and worried came to the monk. Master, the man said, I have always tried to live a good and honest life, but bad things keep happening to me. Why is that? The monk smiled gently and said, Let me tell you a story. There was once a kind and generous farmer. He always helped his neighbors and lived a good life. One day, his only horse ran away. The neighbors came to comfort him, saying, What bad luck? The farmer just said, Maybe, maybe not. A few days later, the horse came back with several wild horses. The neighbors said, What good luck? The farmer again said, Maybe, maybe not. Then, while trying to tame one of the wild horses, the farmer's son fell and broke his leg. The neighbors came over, saying, What bad luck? The farmer replied, Maybe, maybe not. A week later, the army came to the village to recruit young men for a war. Because of his broken leg, the farmer's son was not taken. The neighbors said, What good luck! The farmer once more said, Maybe, maybe not. The monk looked at the man and said, You see, what seems bad at first can sometimes turn into something good. The idea of karma teaches us that our actions have consequences, but we don't always see them right away. Now, let's dive deeper into why bad things happen to good people. 1. Karma Karma is a key concept in Buddhism and many other spiritual traditions. It means that our actions have consequences. If we do good things, we create positive karma, and if we do bad things, we create negative karma. However, the effects of karma are not always immediate. Sometimes, the good or bad results of our actions take time to appear. This is why good people might experience bad things. It could be the result of past actions, even from previous lives, that are now coming to fruition. 2. Life's Balance Life is full of ups and downs. Even good people face challenges because life is not always fair or predictable. These challenges can be opportunities for growth and learning. They help us develop resilience, compassion, and understanding. The farmer in the story accepts each event with a calm mind knowing that what seems bad now might lead to something good later. 3. Perspective How we see and react to life's events makes a big difference. The farmer's attitude, saying maybe, maybe not, to both good and bad events, shows that he understands the temporary nature of circumstances. By keeping a balanced perspective, we can handle difficult situations better and stay hopeful. 4. Interconnectedness Everything in life is connected. Our actions affect not only our lives, but also the lives of others. The farmer's horse running away led to his son not being recruited for war, showing how events are linked in ways we might not see at first. This interconnectedness means that our good deeds can bring positive outcomes for us and others, even if we don't see it immediately. 5. Growth Through Adversity Bad things happening to good people can also be a way for them to grow stronger and wiser. Difficulties can teach important life lessons and help us become better individuals. The farmer's story shows that challenges can turn into opportunities if we face them with the right mindset. In short, understanding karma and keeping a good perspective can help us navigate life with more peace and happiness. Bad things may happen to good people, but how we respond to these challenges is what truly matters. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more Buddhist wisdom and life lessons. Until next time, stay positive and keep growing.